so honored to have Olivia in studio with us, a gold medal winner. What does this gold medal mean to you and your fight? Well, the gold medal means to me that I want to be, I want the gold medal. I really, really wanted it because, like, I'd be the person from, I'm from Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and, and the gold medal is just so important to me against my fight against breast cancer. And I can show all my doctors and all my cheerleaders, because my doctors are my biggest cheerleaders, uh, that I won a gold and worked so hard to, to get myself to this place. It, it's a special place, it's too. It's a special place. When we take you to look at the race that she won, what was going through your mind, Olivia, when you were crossing that finish line? I had my hands up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yes, I did it. And there was a point where we saw you look back. I was why, why did you do that? Because I was worried that other people were going to catch me. And I knew I was ahead. And I, I know you should never, ever look back in a race. But, but you had a big I, lead. <laughs> I had a big lead, so that's why I looked back. What does Special Olympics mean to you? It means teamwork. I, I'm, I'm very good. I love teamwork and cheering on my other teammates. It's not just about the medals and ribbons and stuff like that. It's about teamwork and cheering on your other teammates and be proud of them for what they accomplished too. You've said that you dedicate that gold medal to everybody struggling for their lives against breast cancer. What yep. has been the most difficult part getting ready for this competition and dealing with that yourself? Being very tired and very sick. They had to postpone my chemotherapy on Friday because I couldn't take it because others would be sick and on the plane and, and they just had to postpone it and I just just I, I don't want surgery but I know I need it to stay alive so mm -hmm. what's next for the schedule then when you get back to Wisconsin? when I get back I have one more chemotherapy round and then I have surgery probably around the third third week of August around there how do you deal with that Olivia when you're about to go into situations like that I'm just, I just get so scared. There's, there's a lot of the times where I'm really scared about, you know, not only cancer, but winning, winning a medal or ribbon. I just get scared because I'm like, what if I can't do it? I always, I try not to, but sometimes I put myself down before I even try. Mm -hmm. So but what it, helps you through it. it? I did it. I pushed through it. Olivia, uh, we are now huge fans of yours. You have right. so many new fans out there. And we're here with you in this fight, okay? And we think about our colleague, the late colleague, uh, Stuart Scott. He said this at the ESPYs. You beat cancer by how you live, why you live, in the manner which you live. And you're living that. You're beating cancer every day by living it and right. fighting it. And we're here to support you, okay? Yep. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you so much.